Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce our work, Moving Agent Information in Congested Environments. This work is recently published at AMAS 2020. Planning passes for multiple agents is an important problem for many real-world applications. Sometimes, we need to not only move the agents to their goal locations, but also keep them in some formation while they are moving. For example, when you have a group of drawings, you might want them to stay close with, with each other and keep some formation so that they can maintain a good communication network. Or when you play a video game and have a group of soldiers, you might want them to stay in some formation so that they can better protect themselves. However, when the agents need to go through some congested regions, like this narrow corridor or this forest, they cannot stay in their desired formation. Instead, they have to compromise their formation temporarily and get back to their desired formation only after they left the region. In this work, we propose an algorithm that addresses this problem and trace off the formation and the travel time of the agents. To formally define the problem, we are given an undirect graph and a team of agents, each with a start and a goal location. We define the formation as the relative locations of the agents. We define the formation deviation as the minimum sum of steps required for the agents to move from their current formation to their desired formation when ignoring obstacles and collisions. This formation deviation captures how close a formation is to the desired formation. And our task is to find a set of collision-free passes with a small mix band and small sum of formation deviations over all time steps. Now let's look at our algorithm, Swarm Map Path. Swarm Map Path combines the idea of multi-agent pathfinding from artificial intelligence and formation control from robotics. It first chooses a leader among the agents. The idea here is that we want to choose a leader such that if other agents follow the leader's path, the time steps when they have to compromise their formation is minimized. For example, if we choose agent 2 and if this is its path, then we check every location along this path, whether the other agents can stay in their formation or not. For example, if agent 2 is here, then if agent 1 and 3 want to stay in their desired formation, then agent 3 will collide with an obstacle. So we call this a formation blocking location for agent 2. Similarly, if agent 2 is here, then agent 1 and 3 can stay in their desired formation without colliding with an obstacle. So this is not a formation blocking location for agent 2. We use a number of formation blocking locations to evaluate how good a leader's path is. And we choose a leader among the agents whose path has a minimal number of formation blocking locations. After the leader is chosen, we then partition the leader's path into segments. Assume this is the leader's path. We mark the formation blocking locations on the, on the path in red. And for each red part, we call it a congested segment. For each remaining part, we call it an open segment. We know that for each open segment, the agents can stay in their desired formation without colliding with ob obstacles. So we simply ask all agents to follow the leader's path in the desired formation for the open segment. For each congested segment, the agents cannot stay in their desired formation. We therefore call a multi-agent pathfinding solver to plan collision-free passes with a minimal mix band so that the agents can pass through this congested segment as fast as possible. We can calculate the passes from each segment and then we will, we will get the overall solution. We demonstrate our algorithm in a simulated game environment. The agents are initially in their desired formation. We assume that there is a player who updates the goal locations every 12 time steps. We simulate for 212 time steps. And among these time steps, uh, the agents are staying in their desired formation for 113 time steps, and the agents are now staying in their formation for 99 time steps. We find 19 congested segments in total, and it takes us 1.13 seconds to plan these passes. If you are interested in our work, please refer to our paper for more details, and thanks for listening.